Hello, and welcome to the DTI Weekly Update, presented by the College of Media and Communication. I'm Elizabeth Kaufman. And I'm James Greenhaw. This past Saturday, men's and women's basketball played inside the United Spirit Arena. Let's take a look back at how the Lady Raiders tackled Kansas University. Last Saturday, the Lady Raiders had a slow start, letting KU pull ahead by 13 points in the first half. However, in the second half, the Lady Raiders would respond with 34 points, closing the gap. Amber Battle would rack up 19 total points by the end of the game, but despite their efforts, the Lady Raiders would come up short. The Jayhawks would win 70-62. Both men's and women's tennis had matches last week. Men's at home versus Mississippi State and women's in Dallas versus SMU. Here are the highlights. Men's tennis took on number 10 Mississippi State in a hard-fought competition last Friday. Unfortunately, Hugo Dojas let the last set slip, losing a close match. Mississippi State would come out on top six matches to five. Women's tennis took on SMU last Saturday and easily pulled ahead of the Mustangs. The Lady Raiders never looked back. Tech came out on top, leading SMU five matches to two. Grab that pen and pad and get ready to take notes. Here are the upcoming games for Texas Tech Athletics. Tonight, Lady Raider basketball will travel to Austin to take on the University of Texas. Tip-off is set at 7 p.m. and can be seen on the Longhorn Network. On Friday, Red Raider Tennis is on the road to face the University of Miami. First serve is set for 12 p.m. Tech Track and Field will spend Friday and Saturday competing in two events, the Boston University Valentine Invitational in Boston, Massachusetts, and the New Mexico Track and Field Classic in Albuquerque. Events are scheduled to last both days. Red Raider Tennis concludes their trip to Florida with a match Saturday against South Florida. First serve is set for noon. Lady Raider basketball will be on the road Saturday to take on TCU. The Lady Raiders are looking to avenge a loss from earlier in the season. Tip-off is set for noon and can be seen on FSN. That's a wrap for the first spring edition of the DTI Weekly Update. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out our half-hour show, The Double T Insider, later in the week. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash double T Insider. For Elizabeth Kaufman, I'm James Greenhaw. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great week, everyone.